Hey guys, WCU Cougar X here, and this is my next little project that I've had going on for the last, um, I don't know, a couple months or so. Uh, about 20 years ago, I had purchased one of these AN PBS2 scopes uh, with some kind of Springfield Armory uh, loaded coupon. Sold it, and now it's like, why did I sell it? So um, I went and purchased this one, which was also part of the reloaded thing. Uh, this one's an Israeli scope uh, that's been brought brought back to the US refurbished and this was sold by Springfield Armory at the time and I bought this one and then lo and behold a couple weeks ago I found an official US Army um, issued refurbished and PBS 2 so uh, one of the things about these scopes is being their inherent old age it's a good idea to get in there and clean it now, if you're like me, I was a little standoffish in cleaning these because I thought maybe this was some kind of sophisticated piece of electronic equipment. And to a certain extent, it is. However, there isn't a whole lot to these things. So I'm going to do a little video as far as how to uh, break these things down. So you can see that I can do it. You can do it. So um, again, this is an Israeli unit. This is a USGI unit. And if you'll notice, there are subtle differences between the two. Um, the little eye cover here is a little bit different color, but more importantly, um, the USGI do have this uh, green ring, which denotes that it's got some kind of blocker in there for the some kind of radioactive what have you within the internals of the tube. I'm not sure if it's the reticle or if it's something inside the actual image intensifier. I have no idea. But um, the ones that were sold by Springfield Armory and through various other places that sell the Israeli surplus. I uh, do not have that ring, so this is a, this is actually added on. This is not part of the eyepiece at all, so this is actually an add-on piece. So, um, as you can see, they're pretty close. A little bit different housing, no big deal. But other than that, everything is uh, exactly like. So, back here you have your ice piece assembly with your uh, diopter scale, and you have your focus adjustments. You have your main body battery compartment and the battery compartments goes into here and there's a couple pieces in here that um, transfer uh, power to the image intensifier inside this tube here and at the end of here you have your objective lens assembly which also has an adjustment on there uh, these are four power night vision or starlight scopes um, they weigh about six pounds and they are both ABC into image intensifier it's an automatic brightness control the USGI unit is marked as such not so much on the Israeli unit but internally they have the exact same uh, Vero manufactured image intensifier so what does PVS stand for it stands for portable visual search tac 2 uh, a lot of times you'll see an AN um, before the PVS 2 and that just stands for Army Navy so let's go ahead and get into uh, breaking this down. I'll go ahead and um, take the USGI unit apart and it's gonna be no different than the Israeli unit. So first thing you wanna do is open up the battery compartment. And in this case, I have a aftermarket AA battery adapter. This was a Springfield Armory unit. It supplies six volts to the image intensifier. And on these uh, USGI units, at least with a Vero intensifier tube, it runs off at 6.75 volts, which was found in the old um, military BA TAC 1100 batteries. And I believe those were 6.75 volts. But anyways, let's go ahead and break this down. So the battery's out. And in order to get this tube out, you have to remove couple pieces in here I have no idea what these things are called but this little guy here sends power down to the image intensifier as you can see in there I don't know if you can get a little closer that little brass circular thing that's part of the image intensifier so this keeps it in place so once those are out you remove the eyepiece assembly by just removing this ring here and once this is removed, it just pops right out. You might have to nudge it a little bit. Sometimes these are sealed and they're pretty good. Just grab hold of the unit and just pull straight out. And obviously the whole tube ended up coming out, which is no big deal. All right, so this was a Vero 
image intensifier assembly type MX8501. Now, a little tidbit of information here. I don't know if you can see the cloudiness there. That's normal. However, what is not normal is how it's kind of opaque and clear. That's the glue that puts the reticle in place. The only way to really remove that is by removing the reticle, cleaning it up, and putting some kind of new glue in there. And the way you do that, I'm not going to do that in this video, is this is the retaining clip. You have to remove this. But prior to removing that, you got to grab a pair of pliers and pull this pin out because that pin locks into place. Then from there, you just rotate it counterclockwise. Okay. Grab a screwdriver. Get underneath this grounding loop here and just firmly lift up and this whole unit will pop out. This will stay true. Pull it out and you can clean it and then reinsert it. Now this white part is a silicone um, mold that is placed around the unit to protect it prior to absorb shock and whatnot. Now, a lot of times when you get these surplus scopes, this may not work because of two things. One, this uh, brass ring might be dirty, so you want to clean this up really well. That's where the positive goes in. The negative is this ring that goes around here. What you want to do is get uh, light sandpaper and clean that up really well because what happens is it contacts the housing deep down inside. I don't know if you can see that uh, ring that goes around the outer perimeter, but it has four little, um, I don't know what you call those clips that come off of it. And that's what grounds the image intensifier to the housing to ground it out. If that is dirty, in any shape or form and doesn't make good contact this this unit will not fire up and more times than not um, this will not fire it because that is either dirty or the positive lead is dirty so make sure you clean those up really well okay so that's in a nutshell all you have to do and to get the um, objective lens off just grab a hold of this guy and again just rotate it counterclockwise and for the sake of the video I'll just I'll just do this so exciting part of the video here there like I said there is not a whole lot to these scopes so there should be absolutely no fear whatsoever diving into these things there's really nothing you can do to break these except for I don't know dropping that intensifier image unit tube so uh, also when you when you do get it good idea to pop this off anyways and clean that surface up really well. Um, all the ones that I've seen have a nice coating of dust on there that really uh, fog up the image. And here you go. Again, those little tabs are what come in contact with the image unit to ground it to the uh, assembly. So there isn't a whole lot to these guys. Um, this is the Borsai mount. This slides on to, I don't know, you can mount this to an M14, M1A, M16, AR15, M60. I'm not sure. I don't believe these were mounted to a 50 cal as they use the uh, TBS2 unit, which is a bigger unit in itself, but it uses the exact same image intensifier, but just with a different reticle assembly. So there you have it. I don't know if uh, you want. You know what? For the sake of the video. Let's just go ahead and put this back together. I'm just going to put it back together half heartedly. So, image intensifier. Make sure that's at the top. And also, I will say this uh, the little tab that's on your retaining ring, there is a little spot. I don't know if you can see deep down the side there. There's a gap right there where that thing seats to keep your reticle true to the scope or somewhat true so you insert the image intensifier and make sure that that little positive contact is right there and what I do in this case just to make sure that thing doesn't move around is I'll go ahead and put um, this high voltage assembly in there okay put the cap back on 
Make sure she doesn't back out. Okay, now you can put your objective, your uh, eyepiece assembly on. There's no art to really put this thing back together. And then we'll act like we put our battery in and put the battery cover back on. That's it. All right, WC Cook Rex out.